Okay, so I'm going to tie a wee fly that's called the Glasgow Rangers. The fly was created by a Mr. Callum McOffer from the Isle of Islay. Uh, the fly is used to face the river that runs through the middle of the island called the River Lagan. So the materials I'm going to use to tie the fly I'll talk you through those as we go along but the thread to start off with is uni thread 801 white and the reason why I'm using white thread is because there's a tag at the back of the fly of glow bright floss number four and I just want to keep it nice and bright so we'll go ahead and tie the fly so I'll just attach my thread on behind the other hook and run it down a wee bit and remove the waist now there's also going to be a silver tag on the fly of oval silver tinsel and small and this will be used as the rib as well so I'll just come in with the oval silver tinsel attach it underneath and then just run the thread down tying in the, the oval silver tinsel until I'm just past the point of the hook then I'll come round with four turns of the oval silver tinsel creating a tag and then on the fifth turn I'll just come up and bring it in between the the hooks just to lock in the tag and then I'll come around with a few locking turns just to tie that in and then I'll just come in and trim away the waist of the oval silver tinsel as I said there's going to be a hot tag or hot trigger point at the back of the fly that's going to be glow bright floss in number four I just got it on a bobbin holder here so I'll just come in and tie that in bring that in tight up against the tag and then I'll just run my thread up to the point where I started because I'm going to cast it off so I'll just come in with my whip finishing tool and just whip finish this off then I'll come in with my glow bright floss number four and just build up a hot tag at the back of the fly and then I'll come in and whip finish that off. Just pull that tape. Then come in and trim away your glow bright floss number four. Now to protect the tag, I'm just going to come in with a wee tiny drop of UV resin. Just onto the tag. And I'll just come in with my needle and just spread this round the spread this round the tag. Then the saddle. Just come in with your UV light. And just set the UV resin. that's set. Then I'll come in with uni thread, the other one black, just attach it on. We're finished off with the white thread. Just run that on a wee bit and just remove the waist. I'll then come in with a length of my oval silver tinsel and small. I'll catch it on underneath. run this down tight up against the glow bright floss tag to there the body of the fly on the original pattern is silver holographic now I do have silver holographic but I prefer to use the uni meter in silver and gold so I'll just come in with the length of that 
and I'll attach that onto the hook, the length of the body, which is about there, and then I'll just run the thread up nice and tight, tighten this in. And then I'll just come around with my silver made our tinsel and just one turn overlapping the other bring it up the hook to that point there and then just come up with your thread catch that in and then come in with your scissors and remove the waste and then we'll come up with our oval silver tinsel four turns of the oval silver tinsel just hold that off underneath come around with your thread catch that in a few turns to secure come in with your scissors and remove the oval silver tinsel now at this point I'm just going to put down a foundation of thread for my wing on my haggle on the original flag Callum used blue cock fibers for the wing I'm just going to use some dyed grey squirrel and blue so I'm just going to take a small pinch of this from the tail then I'm going to stack it so I'm just going to hold up my finger and thumb and any rubbish at the bottom remove that, place that into my hair stacker and I'll give this a wee tap on my desk and that should line all the tips up and there, there's all the tips lined up for me just take that out of the hair stacker I'll then measure this probably about the length of the hook over the back which is about there I'll then come in with my scissors and mark where I need to trim it. Now, at this stage, I just come in and get the hair as close to the shank of the hook as possible. And then I'll come around with a pinch and loop. And then another. And then come in with some really tight turns. At this point, I just want to make sure that the wing's sitting nice for me. And it is. Now, squirrel is a hard hair, so to keep it adhered to the hook, just take a wee bit of super glue or varnish, and put a wee lick onto your thread, and then just come down over the cut ends, tying them in. any access just come in with your finger just take it away at this stage okay. I'm going to put a wee bit of flesh into the wing so I've got two strands here of mara flesh I'm just going to put these down each side of the wing now I'll come in and pinch and loop that one and then I'll double these back for security come up and tie those in remove the waste I'll just moisten them leave them on my desk for the next fly now you can leave the fly slow if you wish but I just like to have it about just past the wing right there straighten this up okay so the hackle on the fly is a dyed black cock haggle so just come in and select the haggle stroke the fibers back revealing the tip of the haggle just come in now and tie this in a couple of turns down fold back the tip a couple of turns back up over now it's okay the tips came away there but the haggle's tied in so at this point I'll just come in with my scissors and just stroke the fibers back 
and then we'll just do one turn in front of the other. Now the turns will be dictated by the the haggle faber. So that's one full turn. That's two. Right. Just gonna have a wee look at this stage. Just to see. Okay, so that's probably enough for me, so I'll just come up to there. And then I'll come up followed by my thread and just get right into the stem tie that in now at this stage just in come in and fold everything back keep everything nice and tight and come in and build up a nice head on the fly there now if you keep your thread tight you can come in and break that off Still keeping your thread tight. Come in with your whip finishing tool and whip finish and just tidy up the head at the, the same time. Just pull that tight and then just come in and trim away your thread. At this stage, you can come in and see how to finish the fly off. Grand. Now you can come in with a couple of coats of varnish if you want first, but usually I just come in with my first coat of super glue. Just tap the head, you don't want anything running into the, the hackle fibers at this point. Just make sure you seal the head. And then once that's dry, you can come in with a couple of coats of varnish. Now, I think that wee fly would do well for the for the dalgan. So give it a go and let me know how you get on.